let's put some pebbles of equal weights. Let's say all one kg pebbles on this pan and one kg pebbles, 10 of them on this pan. So you have 10 of them on this pan and 10 of them on this pan as well. Both sides are perfectly balanced. Now I need to start solving this equation, right? Now let's say I remove a pebble from this pan. I remove a pebble from this pan. What is going to happen? The weight on this side is higher. This side is going to start tilting down. That means something is going wrong, right? We said the one key rule to solving an equation is that it should always be perfectly balanced. How can I balance it? I'll remove one stone from this pan as well. It's perfectly balanced again. Okay. Suppose I remove two stones from this pan. now. What do I need to do? I need to remove two stones from this pan as well. Again, it's perfectly balanced. I put one stone on this pan. What do I need to do? This is start going lower. I need to put one stone on this pan. What am I trying to do? You're wondering, I came, I started this thinking I'm going to learn equations. Why are we trying to balance paths? This is obvious, right? Everything we did here seemed obvious. That was actually teaching you the basic principle, the only principle required to solve any equation. What did we do? When I took two pebbles out from here, I took two pebbles out from here as well. When I put one pebble back in here, I put one pebble back in here as well. What was I doing in very simple words? Whatever I do to this pan, I need to do to this pan as well. Correct? That is what I will do. If I remove two, I remove two. If I put one, I put one. So whatever you do to one pan, do it to the other pan as well. If you do that, it will remain perfectly balanced. That is exactly what you do in an equation. You have two sides of an equation. Whatever you do to the left hand side of an equation, do the same thing to the right hand side of the equation. Your equation will always stay perfectly balanced. Same as say what you do to one side of the pan, do the same thing to the other side of the pan. Your beam balance is in the perfectly balanced state. So that's how you solve equations. As simple as that. So let's say I take an equation 2x plus y equal to 10. Now I need to find the value of x, correct? My x is only on the left hand side. I have 2x plus 5 here and I have 10 on the right hand side. So your aim should be, finally, you want to be left with, if you imagine this as two sides of the pan, you finally want to be left with x in one pan and a number in the other, correct? Because what will that tell you? That x is equal to that number. If I have x in this pan and a number in this pan, it tells me x is equal to this number because my beam balance is perfectly balanced. So from the left hand side, you need to get rid of everything other than x so that you're left with only x here and you're left with only a number here. So let's start getting rid of stuff from the left hand side and we know the one rule so that the pans are perfectly balanced. Keep imagining a pan. When you do think only on one side, you should mentally imagine the pan going down on the other side. So you know something's going wrong, right? So whatever you do on the left hand side, do the same thing on the right hand side. So 2x plus 5 equal to 10. I have a plus 5. How do I get rid of the plus 5? If it becomes 0, if it becomes 0 means it's gone, right? How will the plus 5 become 0? Recall the first chapter, where did you learn in rational numbers? Negative of a number. If you take a number and it's negative, you add them, you get zero, correct? So take five, add its negative. If I want to make plus five zero, I need to put a minus five. So I have two X plus five here. I'll put a minus five so that this is going to become zero. If I put a minus five on this side, I need to put a minus five on this side as well, right? So this plus five minus five becomes zero. This is gone and minus five becomes five. So now I have two X equal to five. I don't want the two. How will I get rid of the two? Two X, if I divide it by two, if I divide it by two, which is nothing but the reciprocal, right? Two's reciprocal is one by two. I'm multiplying it by one by two, I'll get rid of the two. So if I divide it by two here, I'll divide it by two here as well. Five by two here, five by two, I'm left with 2.5. So X equal to 2.5, that's your answer. As simple as that, it's over. This is all that solving equations is about. Your aim is, to be left with only x on one side and only a number on the other side, right? Because then the two pans are balanced, then x is equal to the number. That means you know the value of x. And the only rule, there's only one rule, which is whatever you do on the left hand side, you need to do on the right hand side as well. And it's done. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.